Good Friday evening, everyone. This is Tony, and today we are playing Mario Paint. Well, we aren't necessarily playing it, we're just going to, uh, going to relax and do some paintings. No gameplay today. We're just gonna draw and relax and do all the fun stuff that we never get to do with a game. So, first things first, though, we gotta fuck around with all the, uh, all the Easter eggs. Shit. <laughs> Alright, we missed him. R. That's uh, a weird little creature. Oh, we got our shot again with A. And. Fuck. Didn't work. Come on, Mario. No, no, don't sit there and. Come on. I'm waiting on you. And. Drop. Got him. Alright. Click on I here. <clears throat> It'll invert the color. Ooh. P gives us a nice, lovely painting of some flowers and some cars and some UFOs and a nice forest scenery. Hey, there's a train going by. If we hit the A button, the other A button, Yoshi pops out. That's cute. Hit the I button, it all wiggles and shakes. It's like an earthquake. Ooh. Alright. And then if we hit T, we get the credits. <laughs> the credits are hidden in the end. I don't know why I said T. It's in the end. T lets us draw, so we can go. Ha. <laughs> Alright. And then finally, if you hit O, <clears throat> a bomb will go off, and we'll hear Tataka's song. Click on Mario, and the fun will begin. Now, um, I should also mention I'm playing the Japanese version of Mario Paint because it's the I think it's the only physical copy I have. I might have the American version, but I might not. I'm not 100% sure. So, and I am playing with the Super Nintendo mouse, which is a very interesting uh, peripheral. It's one of the few that the Super Nintendo got. I think the Super Nintendo got like the least amount of peripherals. Uh, if I can recall. So I think it was the mouse, the Super Game Boy controller, and a few of the ASCII controllers, so there, I think there's about two of those. Or he made one, so... You know what? Never mind. I was wrong on that. So, ah. Relaxation. Time to draw. Time to relax. Time to have fun. My circles are gonna look like squares, aren't they? Thank you, 90s mouse. You just 90s it up. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> of course, all of our different functions for racing, but we're not going to do that yet. So then we go back here. It's nice and relaxing to just sit back and draw. It's kind of like a live episode of Let's Draw. You know, one where we're not speeding stuff up. It's fun, it's relaxing. We're going to be doing this for a while, so sit back and enjoy yourselves. This is the entire episode. With little to no commercial interruptions. <laughs> I say commercial, I meant break. Let's 
really hard to draw with this 90s mouse. It is actually really hard to draw with this thing. Ah, but it's nice, peaceful, relaxing. We're getting a good time out of this. Kind of call this your Bob Ross episode. Just hopefully no one misinterprets the goddamn title. <laughs> uh, be doing very horrible doodles with a 90s mouse. I feel so bad for myself realizing this is the way I used to draw <laughs> with uh, MS Paint back in the uh, back in the late 90s and early 2000s. But um, you know. <laughs> all right, so that's all finished. So we can add color to this. So, skin, 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 jacket, and then the shirt. really alter the colors on this either. There's no way to do that. <laughs> Trust me, I looked everywhere. And I couldn't find anything. So, there we go. And if I wanted to, I could write something out. Just gotta go back here. And hit black to make a word bubble. Do not. All right. So I'll be writing this out myself with a mouse. This should be fun. I just misspelled something. Wow. <laughs> Grade A education over here, folks. <laughs> Grade A education. Undo dog. hard to actually do this. 
<laughs> you have no idea how hard this is. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> it's hard to get it right because you're only working with so much, uh, not so much space, but uh, so much movement. You know, this is a ball, it's not a laser. Enough. Of course, as I say that, I miss I'm improperly spelling an M. And an S. Who does that? <laughs> All right. Back to our thing here. So we should add some dots for the eyes. That way people will realize their eyes. Yeah, messed up a you. <laughs> so, ah. This is not turning out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> And like writing with this thing is a pain in the butt. to write with this damn thing. So much used to uh, using the drawing pen. That's usually when I'm doing artwork also on the uh, when I'm doing artwork on the uh, computer. When I'm doing all the thumbnail art and stuff. When I'm doing a lowercase a there. I do an uppercase A anywhere else. Think, Tony, think. closest I'm going to get. <laughs> Is that an explanation point? And then signature. There we go. It's funny, my signature has not changed in the 
nearly 15 years I've been doing uh, art professionally. It's funny. <laughs> so, so that's uh, so that's the painting. That's the piece of work. If we want to, we could add a background to that. Let's uh, let's pick something nice out. Let's see here. That's something like that. <laughs> Love when they tell you, ah, it's going to take a while. <laughs> Don't think that's going to work. Fix that up. Now we can. All right. So this is where the eraser comes in handy. And with this, we can pick any one of these options. So I'll pick one at random. Uh, how about this one? It's like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> I mean, that's one good drawing done for the night. One decent drawing, actually, but who am I to talk? Let's get into the actual fun stuff now. So, draw some girls. It's <laughs> uh, actually how I usually do relax, uh, especially when I'm super freaking busy. Um, Since I'm talking about busyness, I'm actually working on a special video for the end of uh, end of the session, which will be sometime next week. I have it set for the 9th, but I'm actually waiting on something, funnily enough. So I'm kind of debating whether or not to uh, whether or not to postpone stuff or yeah, that'll work. Or to, uh, that didn't work out. To, uh, postpone stuff or, um, or, uh, yeah. Either postpone or go through and just do the, uh, backup plan I had. Which I kind of don't want to do, honestly, because I don't want to burn myself out with uh, with uh, my backup plan. Let's say it's uh, entry four in a series we did all fucking session. So I'm uh, so I'm kind of on the fence and debating about that. Mm. Undo. There we go. So I've been working on this uh, special video and I essentially had to, I'm essentially right now just like digging through a lot of old material to uh, find uh, funny things to uh, go over and talk about. I'm trying not to give too much away, but uh, that might happen. So. Hopefully expect to see that by the 12th or the 13th, give or take. And, um... Yeah. That's all I gotta say about that. Ah... <laughs> uh. Hope I messed that up. Undo that. There we are. Like I said, I'm so used to doing computer drawings, uh, drawings through the uh, the drawing tablet on here. 
Although I did do some, like, months back. I did a few drawings through here months back. But, um... No, th those were months back. question I always get from some people is like, uh, well, what's the inspiration for your art? Well, it comes from a lot of places. I usually say the main one uh, in terms of art is um, Matt Groening. Matt Groening was like a huge influence on me when I was in, uh, when I was in middle school and uh, getting into high school. So he was a huge influence in, uh, in my art. in so that way they don't get filled and when we do the fill-in process um, let's say the other one the other one that became a huge influence was um, Joe Murray Murray became a huge influence when I got out of my uh, first stint in uh, college But I usually say, like, this stuff, this style kind of comes, I like to say it's like a mix of uh, Dana Terrace. Uh, for folks who don't know who Dana Terrace is, she's the creator of the, um, the Owl House. I'd say maybe a bit of her style mixed in with the graining and the, um, and the Murray and a smidge here or there of um, Chris Felucci a bit. I, I'm, I, re I regret to say that. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so this is ready for coloring. There we go. Okay. So like, that's, that's kind of where my artistic influence comes from. Like, I've, I've noticed, um, as time has went on, like, my style has definitely altered in the last uh, 10 or so years. I think I've gotten just more loose with uh, how I do the art. As opposed to being you know, usually restrictive or try to perfect it. So. There we go. Another another fine done masterpiece. I'm actually looking at this on the monitor and I'm going, oh boy. <laughs> uh, his eyes are perfect. God damn it. <laughs> oh fuck. Alright, time to erase. Let's go for this one. Just just vanishes. <laughs> Next drawing. I think art. I think art is a very important subject for a kid to learn. It's important for a kid to be uh, creative. I mean, I came from a small town school that we didn't have an art program, and when we did, it didn't last long. So most of us that you know went on to art. From, uh, from our high school, we were self-taught for the most part. Um, shit. <laughs> that didn't turn out right. Let me just... There we go. And, um... You know, 
and, and being self-taught is not a bad thing, you know. You know, we pick up on tips and tricks and we end up telling each other, you know, important stuff. I believe... Uh, oops. Um, I know in my class there was... I want to say there was four of us that were artists. And I don't consider myself the best. I guess I would say maybe I'm low tier in terms of art. But in terms of uh, which one of us went on to success uh, in some ways, um, I guess I would place myself up there. <laughs> maybe uh, number one or number two at this point. <laughs> it's, um... There's a way I can... Oh, I can grab it? Great. That was the copy button, I don't know about that. Alright. Well, unless I know how to duplicate. Now, I was trying to find a cut button to see if I can move something, but that ain't gonna happen. So. But I mean, like. You know, not. <clears throat> Everyone's good at something. That's always been my philosophy. Everyone's good at something. Even if, you know, you're not the best at it, you're good at it. I mean, if, I, if I'm if i not this great at art, then I'm good at game preservation in some ways. Then I'm good at, you know, my random knowledge of useless facts. <laughs> it, 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 you know, everyone has a knack. So, I don't know how I got into the subject, but... Good subject. Go. Fix that up. It's hard to draw with this thing. Peaceful, calm, quiet Friday evening, just watching some art being done. If you want to call it art. <laughs> that was the question. Is it art? It's something. I don't know if I call it art, but it's something. Sorry, I'm not really talking as much right now. It's just there's not really much to discuss, I guess, is the word I want to look for. Uh, it's just it's hard to kind of concentrate on using this mouse. <laughs> But the good thing is the mouse can be used for other games. And I have a few of those other games that we can use the mouse on. Look, I actually think we did talk about the mouse before. <laughs> One of those other games. I think we did it during Sailor Moon. Uh, month. We were covering all the Sailor Moon games. Came out and I think we discussed uh, the mouse. I mean, it's a, it's a decent mouse for the time, but, like, you know, now it's kind of hard to use it. But I guess that's the good thing about, like, retro companies now is, I mean, they can take, you know, what essentially didn't work back then and 
fix it up and make it better. Do I have a point to this conversation? I really don't. I guess that's what I'm saying, is I really don't have a point to this conversation. I guess I'm just sitting here talking away like a fool. Old, old fool. Palms, shoulders, kind of like shoulder pads. This one is ready. I just forgot. The eyes, I gotta kinda have the eyes be filled. Usually I don't do this with my art, but I have to do it for this, because if I don't, <laughs> then uh the Nintendo's gonna just fill in the eyes. <laughs> but yeah. I mean when I started doing art, I started with um you know, MS Paint and Photoshop. I didn't. I didn't deep dive into the. Uh, no, not Photoshop. Um, no, I didn't use Photoshop till I was in college. Um, it was MS Paint and just paper. <laughs> I didn't do uh, Photoshop, like I said, until I was in college. Even then, when I was in college, I mean, I was I was using Photoshop because that was part of one of my classes. <laughs> you know, I took in Photoshop one, and within Photoshop one, I just learned everything <laughs> I needed to know. And I was like, all right, I honestly don't need this anymore. <laughs> I learned everything I need to know, and that's actually how we do the thumbnails. We do all the thumbnails through uh, uh, Photoshop. I don't think it's ever changed. Well, actually, no, we used to do it through paint, and then we switched over to Photoshop. 20... I want to say 2016 is when we officially switched over. 16 or 17 is when we switched over to uh, Photoshop. So we used to do them all by paint, and then for a while we used um, GIMP. Or uh, GIMP. <clears throat> Which was an art program, similar to Photoshop, but like a cheaper version. So, but um, but in more recent years, we've just used um, we've just used Photoshop. That's kind of how we've done it. All the artwork, Photoshop. Start for our reference piece. We do our basic design. We add in our elements we need to add. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> hasn't changed. Hasn't changed since. That background to this one. <sighs> All right. Now we can erase. <laughs> I'll do... whoops. I, uh, I grabbed the one in which I accidentally spilled some water on the Super Nintendo. Oh boy. <laughs> this might be a problem. No? Seemed to have fixed itself. So. Alright, back to time. This is an artistic episode, not a, not 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 misconstruing it, <laughs> as as we, we've clearly pointed out in the thumbnail, not misconstruing it at all. Uh, this is an artistic episode, so let's see here. Just because it's too big.
guys. That's not working for me. Let's start all over. Just not feeling it. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want a line. the kid he wants to disappoint the kids in the movie theater let's move 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 <laughs> there we go this is what I wanted <clears throat> Just trying to figure out something. Something will come to my mind. Let's just add some stamps in here. Got some Game Boys.
I think I just hit something I wanted to do. <laughs> I think my brain just finally went, I got it. <laughs> All right. That's an art style I haven't done in a while. I still know how to do it. Characters I haven't drawn in God knows how long. <laughs> it's been far too long. It's been ages. Nothing making me angry. Just playing some good old fashioned Mario Paint. Another piece, well, well crafted. <laughs> let's do, uh, yeah, let's do the rocket ship. And done. <laughs> All right, let's take a break from art. See what else we got. Ah, there's my text. That's what I was looking for. Could not find that. Oh well. Also got. Make special stamps here. So, like, if I wanted to do one for Game of Rama, do something like that. right down here. If I wanted to, I just hit the save button, hit the slot, and I save it. Then, go back. I could hit stamp. Just cycle through our stamps here. And there it is. One of those things. Fortunately, I can't make it any bigger, but it's one of those things.
Thank you. 
Thank you. 